Okay, I thought I'd make a quick little video here to answer a question that was on uh, one of my previous videos. At JRT Advanced English wrote, how did you get the drone to stay continuous? Is there a way to tie the 64th step to the first step or something like that? Uh, when I try this, I always hear the note being pressed again, losing the drone effect. So what is the trick? Is it a reverb delay trick or am I missing something? I'd love to create a drone with the SH4D. Well, there's really no trick beyond simply tying the last step to the first step. It doesn't have to be 64 steps. It could be however, however many steps you use. Usually when we set up, there's uh, 16 steps here. It'll run, you know, if I hit start here, it's gonna run the 16 steps here and come back and just repeat that. So that's, so the easiest thing you can do is just create a note. I've chosen this synth bass here because there's a definite attack. You can tell if this thing is, you know, like using reverb or something like that. You'll hear that attack on the filter and that'll let you know that this is not truly droning, right? So all you have to do is insert a note on the first step like that. And then we can just tie that across. Whoops, sorry, like this. And then we can go and press and hold the last step. And now we get the screen here uh, with a step edit and the gate value here is set to 80. I just re uh, reach that up and set it to tie and I hit play. And you can see it going through the sequence, but it never restrikes the note. So it's perfectly tied, perfectly droned. And just to show you what it would sound like if that didn't happen, I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Now you hear it restriking the note every time as I dropped the gate to some value that wasn't tie. I'll bring the gate back up, it's tie, and there's our drone. I hope this helps.